And it's been a month since we first told you that city officials in Butte wanted to end shooting behind Big Butte. MTN's John Amy brings us an update. The once a popular place to shoot, Butte officials have called a ceasefire behind Big Butte for about a month now. It fits into the park ordinance just like every other park in Butte does. Uh, there's no shooting allowed in any of the parks or, or uh, any type of projectile in any of the parks. So. Back in May, park officials called for the enforcement of the shooting ban out of safety concerns since many people recreate in that area. There's quite a few people that do walk the, um, at the backside of the M and, and, and bike the backside of the M. So I think this was a, uh, a good maneuver by the county to uh, make people safer. To stop people from going back to where they used to shoot, the city put up these big dirt berms to keep people from driving back there. Law enforcement wants to give people plenty of time to know that shooting is no longer allowed in this public park area. Now we're trying to do it as low key as possible, just go up there and tell them that there's no shooting in that area. Uh, there hasn't been any arrests or any citations issued at this time, but there could be. Illegally shooting in that area can result in up to a $500 fine or up to six months in jail. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News. Now the undersheriff does say you can always join the Butte Gun Club, which has a shooting range just west of town near Rocker.